Loveline is meant for an adult audience. Loveline is meant for an adult audience. Loveline may contain sexually oriented content. Loveline may contain sexually oriented content. Listener discretion is advised. Listener discretion is advised. 1-800-LOVE-191. Loveline starts now. Hey everybody, it's Loveline, except it's Joel McHale. <laughs> Go ahead, Joel, you're yeah, on. Yeah, it's Loveline. That was Dr. Drew. Do you guys know Dr. Drew? Uh, he's a doctor that has been hosting the show for 34 years. Yes, right, that's right. That's right. Thank you. It makes me feel young and, and very Yes, he started here. hosting it when he was eight. Yes, yes. Uh, the number is 1-800-LOVE-191. And uh, should, should we get right to it? Do you have anything you want to say? I want to hear more about Mexico. You were in oh. Playa del Carmen. We were in Pla I was in Playa del Carmen, which is right below Cancun for all the people that don't or know. Don't normally go to Playa del Carmen. Mexico. Well, I've never been to Mexico in my life, including Tijuana. I was saying my wife and I took a Jeep out of Cancun and fell into Playa del Carmen. It was tiny. I mean, it was right. a little village. And there were some Mayan ruins, but you couldn't really tell there were ruins there because people were sort of like... Living in amongst them and stuff. Yeah, that could not, because I, 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 not knowing it, it's as if uh, you were going to a mall, and behind the mall there was ruins wow. that they had uh, built for the mall. Wow. And uh, I could have gone to the Quiznos or the Subway. The Maya and Subway? You, uh, yeah, there was a, literally. Oh. And you can, buy, uh, you, could, you can buy Viagra over the counter. Oh, you can buy everything over the counter. It's now. crazy. You can buy morphine now. Everything's everything's open. Now. It's all. And then they just there. while I was there, they approved cocaine and heroin, small yes, amounts, yes. and then immediately. Oh, they went back on. Yeah, it? they were me. They were. Oh, back. I haven't heard that. You were just there. Literally, yeah, on uh, on Thursday. Wednesday. Oh my gosh! And uh, so they've gone back on that now because they didn't want uh, drug the bad press, drug vacations, right? Like Which, they're not now, right? Uh, so, but when you fly in now, because I know if you were going in by jeep, when you fly in. It's all smoky, and you think it's, oh, the pollution of the town. No, they're just burning the forests to make room for more town. Nice. So, yeah, I'm make this sorry, I'm not even speaking into the microphone. Here you go, talk to it's me. It's going well. This is good. Oh, we all can look at each other. <laughs> oh, good. Now, this is great. Um, it's like we have iron lungs. Joel hosts the soup. Yeah, if you guys, if you have not seen the soup, it is a show in which we make fun of everything everything that you can uh, i want to thank you for bringing tom back in front of the camera you're I, welcome i really genuinely i felt personally uh, sort of gratified by that and yeah uh, he's as hysterical as he's ever been he's lost a little weight well yeah he's 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 down to i don't know about two, two three two, two eight well yeah two, two eight, eight, eight. uh <laughs> a comedy force he's like a comedy word of force yeah he's like a comedy left tackle you guys did an uh a mission impossible three little thing today at, Yes. And uh, I watched him fall off a cliff. Yeah, and I fell with him, and I did a hysterical. handstand next to him to make it as if I was going head first. <laughs> and there was so much. I assume you guys were lying on the floor. No, around. no, I was, and there was, that's exactly how we were screaming, and there was so much blood in my eyes from being uh -huh. in the handstand for so long. Oh, and okay. when I popped up to do the show, uh, they had to stop and give me Visine because it looked as if I had smoked an nice. enormous amount of... Uh, Never mind that you had, but... Yeah. Right. No, yeah. yeah, that's the only way I can really face anyone You're each right, day. Right, of course. Sad. Yeah, so anyway, so Playa del Carmen's ruined. No, it's, a, it's, it's completely beautiful. Trashed. Oh, my God. That's awful. Oh, and at the ruin that you could hardly get into, yeah. Dr. Drew went to these ruins, and there's people living in them. And, yeah. Uh, there's, there was probably about 6,000 people there. Oh, my gosh. It was uh, tour bus after tour bus. Oh, my God. I would have rather have gone to the Disney version, I think. Oh, my God. Because oh then boy. at least the water would have been that totally safe. That is wild. All right. There you go. All well, right. let's take some calls, shall yeah. we? Yeah. So uh, I'm going to go right into this. Uh, oh, the one I wanted to do left, and I can understand why, because it was, it was pretty, pretty uh, asinine. All right. Uh, let's go with, uh, let's go with uh, number one. Rebecca, how you doing? Uh, hi. What's up? Uh, not much. Um, I... I had sex with this guy, and I, I, he looked clean and stuff, and... He looked like, clean? Yeah, he looked fine, and, like... Does his penis this, looked fine, or his face looked clean? What, what do you mean? Oh, like, his penis looked fine, and everything. I see. And we used the okay. condom, but it, it broke, and Ooh, stuff. Okay. And, um, my friend told me later that, like, I had noticed, like, this rash on his face, and I didn't really think much of it because he looked fine, you know? Well, what, is it, what does the penis look like that doesn't look fine? How I do think you know? that's her way of saying he's white. Ah, uh, Anderson. But, Rebecca, there's, there's nothing you can see very often. What, do, what are you thinking? Oh, well, I don't know. I would that like... All right, so did you... Uh, and, Dr. Drew, what, is there any medical uh, studies that have been done for just uh, eyeing something? 
No. For its cleanliness? No, generally just the well, eyeball. That's, that's why we use the condom. No, I know, and I want to commend you for using a condom. I was just thinking that, Rebecca, but and it's broken, <laughs> okay. And what, tell me about the rash now. Um, it just, I don't know, it reminded me of, because my friend told me later, she's like, I think that he has something. And I got what does your security. rash look like? Describe it to me. It was like red and like blotchy and like... It was like on his arms and his chest. And like it was on his arms and chest, but so nothing on you. No, no, it was on him. So he had a rash on him. Oh, don't worry yeah. about it. And he kind of—he looked like he had like a clean rash. <laughs> yeah, like it. It, it, it was like little red, like I don't know, like like a. Rebecca, <laughs> don't worry about it. That that's fine. That that does not indicate a sexually transmissible disease. Okay, okay. like, but okay. even if it is like. Is there anything I can do to just make sure that I don't get it or anything? Just go, go. No, there is nothing you can do. But you can go. If you stare it at it for long enough in the mirror, it might get scared away. <laughs> the, the vagina. Well, because I'm just thinking, if she stares at her skin and talks it down as if she were looking at the guy's so rash. vulva, just like hold. Yeah, just down. look at it and uh, just tell it not to get something. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> just eyeball it. Okay. Is that good, Rebecca. You. All right, uh, Becca. Just okay. go get checked out. You know, just get, get on birth control, wear condoms more regularly, use them more properly. It's all good, okay? Okay, thank you. All right. Yeah. Bye. See, we're helping people already. Yeah, put her on hold there. With, oh, there, I got to put her. <laughs> there you go. Okay, that was, uh, I feel like we helped her in a way. Yes, in a way. All right, so Jason, uh, how's it going? Hey, what's up? Hey. <clears throat> I'm a big fan, Joel. Uh, oh, th thanks, man. Oh, uh, love the show. The soup this uh, week hey, is pretty funny, too. Hang on a second, Jason. You, you're gaining some... Um, New Whitney's, I guess. Yes. Well, uh, we have. There's a few that are coming out of the woodwork. We're sad because Jonathan from Blowout is going away. Oh, jo the Blowout's going away. Or well, it's 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 his season is over. Oh, for just for the time being. Though. Well, we can all. The problem was this his this season of his show was down in ratings, so I don't know what they're oh, gonna do. Hopefully, boy. it was just enough to get him to the next season. Oh. <laughs> and then Dan's is going off the air. Oh, Did no. you see the clip of Dan's? I, 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 you know, I saw but didn't hear it. What he uh, he couldn't find a prop on his uh, prop table. It was, of course, it was under a ukulele, and then he fell off his own stage. And he went, nice. uh, uh, and it's going away. How can they? Uh, it was a was, hit. Uh, Huge hit. I my favorite though was your clip of the week. From uh, the wife's wife. Oh, yeah. oh my God! What were they like? What were they like when they were in each other's houses? Is what I wanted to. Did one of you them know? I did. I. I. We, there's so much to cover. That is not one of the shows I cover. My wife immediately went. Oh, the the slutty one picked up on the husband. They yeah, I, 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 that is probably my yeah. guess. And she. Yeah, yeah she was. Probably, but I love how the cowboy. And I love guys who dress up like cowboys. By the way, and. Uh, uh, the table yeah, it's just kind of like you're wearing always wearing a costume. <laughs> I'm a cowboy. I want to be an army man and. Uh, <laughs> So he threw the table, but before he wanted to fight the the, the other uh, the other husband, husband, he pushed his own wife out of the way, which was so noble and at the same time a crime. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, it was good. And then, uh, so, uh, yeah, I've hopefully, I, hopefully there will be someone who will replace Jonathan. Well, just describe. Oh, there's a new show coming out that is uh -oh. going to be incredible with what? Stan Lee, the guy that invented Spider Man. Yeah. I don't know why he's doing this because he's, he's gonna, an old man. He's going to hurt his reputation. Yeah. He's having 12 people or 10 people dress up like superheroes, their own creations, yeah. live in a house. One of those superheroes will be picked to have a comic book made out of them. Oh, uh, Why not just call it uh, a mental institution? Yes, why not just call it, uh, yes. Ah, uh, it's going to be, yes. uh, thank, it's like a gift from the gods. <laughs> anyway, Jason. What's up? What's yeah. your problem? Uh, yeah, you see, I live in Farmington, Missouri, which is, well, Farmington. Uh, that's really the only word that can describe it. Uh, and I can't seem to find a girl because they're either enormous, and I mean like the kind of girl that could jump up in the air and get stuck, or they've got like five kids and an ex-Marine husband. Okay. Um, that sounds pretty sweet to me. Uh, maybe move? <laughs> yeah, that, that's the thing I was thinking, but is there any other thing? I mean, maybe I'm looking to the wrong places. The Internet? Uh, you know, dating services? I, I don't uh, know. Yeah, you could. Uh, boy. Uh, maybe dating men? No, mm -hmm. yeah, well, yeah, they could always well, do that. That's not my style, though. No, no, yeah. Uh, um, do you have any interests? Uh, any well, hobbies yeah. or anything? I like comics. Oh, there you go. You should watch this new show. Or you could get, like, <laughs> sort of, <laughs> some sort of online... Well, uh, no, if you think about it, comics, that comic books and, and the enjoyment of, like, uh, cartoon characters, what better way to meet women? <laughs> uh, I think you should go to... So that, could be, that could be like a Star Trek convention or comedy. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you could hook up some people with some people who... Jason, what do you do for a living? Oh, uh, I work at BK. 
at Burger King. Yeah. Mm. Uh, the job market down here is really bad. Move. Move, Jason. Yeah, I, I mean, think, I, I think, think, yeah, Jason, I mean, even though Burger King uh, had employed me for a long time. Oh, did uh, they really? Yeah. In I, Seattle? No, I did some of their commercials. Oh, that's right. right where right, I played right. a real jerk in there. Uh, so thank God for Burger King. First, let me say that. But uh, may not be in Farmington, Missouri, the greatest place to ask women out, unless you're taking their order. I don't know. I think yeah, Jason, long. time to move. Move along. Uh, all right. Another keeping them there. Yeah, let's go with uh, number uh, three here. Uh, Bob, how you doing? Not bad. How are you? Good. Um, what up? I'm wondering is whenever me and my girlfriend are having sex, you know, I get into it real hardcore. I try going at it, and she just she doesn't do anything. She just kind of lies there, and I'm just trying to wonder what can I do to make her get more into sex? Well, you're probably scaring her is my guess, is that... You're probably coming at her way too aggressive. and That she's, could be. Bob, your sort of idea of into it is her idea of, oh, my God, when's this going to be over? Well, you know, I mean, like... I, tr I try going at it with her, and she'll say harder sometimes, and I'll go at it, but she just, like, she doesn't want to switch positions. She just plays like we're always missionary. Any other position doesn't work for her, and I, I mean, I don't think it's really the scared factor, because she got over that. We dated before, Ooh. and, you know... Does we she fake, I mean, have an orgasm? No, she's never had an orgasm. Okay. Well, there so, you go. Uh, I, have a, I have a mission for you, Bob. Uh, next time, you have to try to uh, give her an orgasm. No, I'm, I've tried as hard as I can, but I think like a lot of the... Without being like a, a linebacker or being too it, aggressive. Bob, it's, it's not going to happen with your penis. Okay, so like, how do you recommend going about it to give her you know, an orgasm to make her you know, want to get more into it? With your mouth. I've tried oral sex. I've tried, you he's know. He's wearing a mouth guard during the time. But imagine, time. He's, he go, he's like, like, imagine how he goes yeah. with that. Uh, think slow and soft and Yeah. Do you have very, any Kenny G slow. albums? Yeah. Put on some Kenny G. Uh, go to uh, get some uh, scented candles. Yes, and, candles uh, are big. Just uh, take it easy and, uh, and make, her, make, her, make sure she's comfortable. So try to go out lighter at first and then see how she goes. No, 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 not at first. The, the whole, whole time. The whole way, Bob, the whole way. Okay, so go real light the whole do, way. Do not do way not way. assume that what you're into, she is into. Right. That is a bad In fact, every assumption. time you think that she's going to be into this, you just do with exactly the right. opposite do idea. Right, contrary kinds of thinking. I think, I'd sure like it real hard to think, okay, then I'm going to go very slow. Yeah, then get Very out. slow and easy, all right? Yeah. All right, and so then right at the end, she'll do be what shocked. You want to do. You know, that, then she's all done anyway. Yeah. All right. All right. That was <laughs> oh, helping people one after the other. Uh, Michael. Mike. Yes. Mike. Hey, buddy. Uh, Mike, to say I love you, Doctor Drew. You're a great doctor. Thank you, Mike. It's happening. And, and I, um, when I was six or seven, I went swimming in a lake, and shortly afterwards, the, I guess it's the foreskin starts welling up around my penis. Yeah. It literally, it literally looked like a, um, some, not, yeah, sunflower would be a good description. Mushroom, me. mushroom. Yeah, mushroom. Like a mushroom it, sunflower? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Then yeah. they injected something in there. I, didn't, I still don't know what bit me or anything, but my penis hasn't gotten any bigger from that time. I was wondering what that could be. How old were you when that happened? Six or seven. Wait, your penis stayed the same size? Yes. No way. So you had no, no. you never had puberty? Yeah, I had puberty. And your everything. penis remained two inches long. Erect. Something like that, yes. Two inches erect. Uh, erect is a little bit bigger, but, and the foreskin is still long now. I was circumcised, but now it's. You have a small penis, you fag. How 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 long are you erect? Um, four to five inches, maybe. Okay, that's grown a, a lot <laughs> since you were six years old. Yeah. A lot. Unless and the fact you that were you don't perceive that the greatest six-year-old of no, no, never, no way. Uh, the fact that you but don't it's understand never that. Around either. Look, Michael, it's bizarre that you don't know that things have grown quite a bit. What do you do for a living? Um. I work at factory work. 
Factory work, okay. Uh, there might be, have been a magical spell in the lake, which he would have to, maybe some sort of, uh, there was a curse or something put on. You would have to go back there and undo it. Is there like a frog it. that does curses? Or a, well, it's either like a, a frog or some What was that Don Knotts where he was a fish and it was an enchanted fish? Do you remember that? Was it a movie? The yes. Fish that saved Pittsburgh. Mr. Limpet. Yes. I never saw Mr. Limpet. Incredible Mr. Limpet or something like that. What's that, Anderson? I thought it was the fish that saved Pittsburgh. I'm way off. No, no, Mr. Limpet. Was it called The Incredible Mr. Limpet? Or? Yeah, The Incredible Mr. Limpet. Yeah. Hey, Michael, you're the right size. Don't worry about Mr. it. Incredible Mr. Limpet. I know that's what it is. <laughs> I know it. And, the, Michael, here's the deal. You're preoccupying about the size of your penis. That's b the bigger issue here. And the only thing I know about guys that really get upset and obsessed and worried about that is things are not going in their life the way they want it to. Yeah. It's more of a symbol of you than uh, a reality about your anatomy. So really work on uh, getting a good relationship going, maybe getting your career going a different direction, doing other things, hobbies, things like that. And don't tell happy. anyone else that story. No. Yeah, don't. Yeah. Ever. And if it was a boy fish that bit his penis, would that make Michael gay? Oh. Well, if it was an enchanted body. The only way is that there has to be research done, Anderson. We're going to have to have your penis bed. You know, there's a great new uh, book about uh, Theodore Roosevelt. Ooh, did that work out? Yeah. yeah. Theodore Roosevelt uh, and his trip down the Amazon, and they were describing some of the weird parasites. All that's crazy. Yeah. Aside from fish that could jump up and eat a child whole, <laughs> there were these other little fish that would swim actually up your urinary stream if you were peeing in the river. Would s go swim really? Up your, definitely when you're in the water, they 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 get the flow or the they heat weren't or on acid or anything. They would fly and wedge themselves up in the penis and obstruct, and they would uh, the Indians would cut the penises off as a way of because it was so painful and so awful. Oh my! They'd immediately cut the penis off. Oh, that's like a that's like so a you, dream you, you would, would have. have. <laughs> no, really, it would be like that. Would there's, that doesn't seem even possible that a fish would f swim up your up your pee as you're peeing, oh. as you're victorating into the river. It must have been so disappointing for the people, like the, the native people from those countries to come here and be like, there is nothing crazy going no, on. No, there's nothing weird like that. We don't have the, the oh. urine swimming, penile wedging fish. No president writes about stuff like that anymore. I know. What, what's going yeah. on? You get Bill Clinton's biography and it's like, meh, no penis. It's a great story. He, he uh, Teddy Roosevelt did not to die long after that. He was he got lost in the river down there, this uncharted territory. I didn't know. I, I knew a lot about Teddy Roosevelt. I never knew this chapter. How old was he? Older. It's like 60. Yeah. 50, 50, 50. The book is called, uh, what's it called? Just read it. Uh, oh, crap. Theodore Rex? No, 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 no. That's this other one. This is a book just out recently about the, the, his, his journey in the Amazon. The and river, we got to bring us called The River of Doubt. See, the Army needs to weaponize fish like that. Yeah. Okay, Nikki. Hi. What's up? Uh, not much. <laughs> Probably you. Uh, According to your <laughs> description here. Sorry. Um, no, I just, it's hard. Well, oh, it, yeah. I can't really have an orgasm unless I'm high. I'm just thinking I have leg pain. I probably got a blood clot in my vein. I've been sitting on a plane all day. See, you can't have an orgasm unless you're high. Okay. Well, that's, Go on. Don't worry about my blood clot. Yeah. Um, is it really painful? Yeah, I'm sitting there going, what the hell? I'm thinking, oh, don't, you, no. you, don't you fly first class everywhere? It doesn't matter. It's just retarded. No. All right, here's the good deal, Nikki. Um, uh, high with what? Pot? Yeah. And how do you, and you, can you orgasm by yourself? Yeah. But just not with another person? Yeah. And is that because it relaxes you, or what's the deal? Uh, something like that. All right, so, I, I mean... Look, generally, drugs work against sexual functioning, except to the extent that they can sometimes reduce anxiety. And there's that sort of euphoric effect, so it's sort of stimulating that system a little bit. But eventually, this will work against you. So you've got to learn to relax. Do you have a boyfriend? Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Was that a yeah? Yes. Sorry. Okay. Do you feel waiting. comfortable with him? Huh? Do you feel comfortable with him? Huh? For the most part. <laughs> no. Well, find somebody you really, really genuinely feel comfortable with and calm down about stuff, and things will start happening on their own without the pot. Now, the reality is, is there ever a day when you don't smoke pot anyway? Yeah. Okay, is there a lot of stuff you can't do? <laughs> so I usually only smoke pot when I'm going to have sex. So, like, Which three, is every day? three times a day? No. My boyfriend lives kind of far away, so I don't do it much. So really, you only smoke pot when you're about to have sex. That's the only time. For the most part. Right, but sometimes on Monday, Fridays, Tuesday, yeah. once in a while. Oh, in maybe. the past, past six months, I've done it twice. All right, all right. I just, I'd say it's not a great sign for your relationship that you have to be high to be close with somebody. Just, 
This is what I consider sort of a warning sign, all right? Yeah. Kind of cool. Just pay attention. Look, yeah. Just make sure this is the guy you really want to be with. All right. Yeah. This is my... I'm really excited about Scott's call. All right, I'm ready. To, go ahead, Scott. Uh, good evening, gentlemen. Good evening, Scott. Hello, sir. Dr. Drew, I'd like to say I'm a long-time listener, sir, and I have a great deal of respect for you. God bless you. What's happening now? If I could ask you a couple questions, please, sir. Um, uh, I met Wait, hold girl. on, hold on. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. All right. I met this girl. She um, has been doing crystal methamphetamines for a while now. It's a beautiful thing. And she informed me that she has a multiple, multiple personalities, mm. that when she feels threatened, this other personality comes out. And I was just wondering if, the, if crystal methamphetamines can cause that. Crystal meth does not cause multiple personalities, if, if that actually exists, which I kind of think it does. Uh, multiple personality is a syndrome where your character, your personality, fractures as a result of severe, severe trauma in childhood. I mean, like ritualistic abuse. Mm -hmm. And in that, when that happens, you never get a cohesive person inside. Yeah. You just have parts Still the most disturbing movie I've ever seen in my life is Sybil. Yeah. As a little kid, I saw yeah, that, yeah. and I I had nightmares about yeah, that movie, and weird. I was so mad my parents let me watch it. The one movie. I've treated a bunch of multiple patients, and it's wild. They, they, when they switch people, I mean, it's, sh it's unbelievable. Their face looks different. I mean, it's weird. Oh. So, yeah, it's weird. So, she, also uh, did, she did say she had been molested. It, as a all right, so she may have a multiple personality disorder. It will be made worse by methamphetamine. What methamphetamine causes is something called an amphetamine. It can produce manias and something called an amphetamine psychosis, where okay. people begin be developing very elaborate delusions and paranoias, primarily focused on people around them, neighbors, coworkers, families, friends, that kind of thing. And boy, I've seen the most elaborate, crazy delusions. And, and, they're, wow. they're, and most of those people became screenwriters, right? Or politicians. Right. And they, they'll tell you three weeks later, they'll repeat the same story. It may take them 20 minutes to tell you the story, oh. which is all built on just delusions. Are you going to, is this a person you just met, or are you dating this person? I'm kind of dating her, yes. Yeah. You should take her home project, and meet the parents. It's going to be a project, stuff. Scott, that, that somebody with chronic mental, chronic mental illness, and it's going to be a crazy ride if she doesn't get sober. So at very least, you want that person to get active. Yeah, that's like a stir-fry screw-up there. So be yeah. careful, Scott. Stir-fry. We're going to take a break. Oh, we do? How did you know? This thing passed 20. <laughs> This thing is called a clock. <laughs> all right, call in with all your uh, problems and hardships. What number is that? I have 1-800-LOVE, 191-1800-LOVE, 191, and Dr. Drew will uh, treat you, and I will make fun and of you. And you are? Joel McHale. From the soup? From the soup, and that's Dr. Drew from? Loveline. Loveline, thank you. 1-800-LOVE-191, it's Loveline with the board-certified Dr. Drew. Thank you. What board? Uh, internal medicine and addiction medicine. I am too. Yes. And so I am also licensed to talk on all of these things. Uh, so let's go right to Dr. Drew's favorite call right now. Ron? Ron, are you there? Ronnie? Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi, Dr. Drew. Yeah. Uh, long time listener, first time caller. Thanks. What's happening? Hi. Uh, actually, I heard you talking about the uh, that fish that swim, swam up the urethra on the Amazon, and it's actually called the Candiru. Candiru. Oh. Do you have yeah, the. the Teddy Roosevelt book, or you, did you look it up, or have you heard of it? Um, do, do you have the, one? The, no, no, I'm not that. Do you keep them? All right, go ahead. Uh, I, I, yeah, I keep them in the jar. Uh, actually, I, I heard about them in a cartoon on Adult Swim called Adventure Brothers, and I looked it up, and then... <laughs> <laughs> right, of course. I have things like something the Menorah team would have. Uh, yeah. How big are they? They're tiny. Um, they, they never grow longer than an inch, and they can actually lodge themselves into different orifices, like the anus or the vagina. And they're translucent, so they're almost impossible to see. It's a beautiful thing. Well, right? these wow. are wonderful stories. They really are, Anderson. <laughs> now, give me a break here. I want to go fishing for those. A-Kanduru? A, a, a With my urine. Yeah, yeah, A-Kanduru. Are you saying a uh, Kanduru, or is A-Kanduru, A is part of the name? Oh, no, no, it's just Kanduru, C-A-N-D-U-R-U. How about, yeah. have you heard about this book about Teddy Roosevelt? Um, I've heard about it before. Um, it's very good. I went to Amazon, but yeah. All right, we got, we're going to have uh, we're going to fry some of those up and serve some candiro, 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 and chips. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Thank you, Ron. Uh, right, watch more Cartoon Network and fill us in on Adult yeah. Swim. Really good. Very educated. Yeah. Oh, I cut them off. Uh, Just thanks, Ron. They're your competitor. Yeah. Get too bitter. Yeah. Francie, I'm. I compete against you. I think. 
You, you no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah, I think you will. No, I'm going to have a new show at 10 on Tuesdays on Discovery Health Channel. No, that's fine. That's, yeah, okay. yeah it's, I don't think people will be. Oh, there's another thing. Look up this website, justasktoday.com. And Anders, look it up, too. My wife insists that, that I, I have a strange appearance. This is the website I'm on. And you mean your photo? Kind of a photo, yeah, but, but justasktoday.com, yeah. That's not... Right. Okay, uh, Francie? Yes, hello? Hi. Hi. Long time listener, first time caller. Why do you, you. Does everyone say that? I don't know. It's some sort of ritual in this show. Uh, it's, 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 it's a greeting. It's, you know... It's Francie, have you been on a lot of radio shows? Is that why it just rolled off your tongue like that? Um, no, actually, it's the first time I've ever been on the radio. <laughs> Oh, so great. A, a it's, a, it's a greeting, and B, it's an acknowledgement that they've been part of our listenership for a long time. All right. Great. And, finally and it them. should stop soon. All right. Okay. Thanks, Anderson. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Go ahead, Francie. I kind of agree with Anderson, but... Okay. <laughs> um, Hang on a second, Francie. Rick, what do you think? Is there anything weird about him? You're very interactive on the website. Right. I'm interacting, but, but no, you don't see anything weird or anything. Have you lost weight since that picture, Dr. Drew? I don't think so. I'm kidding. I just <laughs> so, was trying to make you paranoid. All right. Good. Francie, go ahead. Okay, thanks. Um, okay, so hold on. Wait, hang on a second, uh, Francie. No, seriously. Oh, what are we doing there, Rick? You're moving. <laughs> oh, you're moving to other stuff. All right. Go ahead. Look around. Francie, will you get to it? <laughs> uh, can I start now? Yes, yes. Fine. Sure. Go. Okay, so um, me, about a month ago, I've been with this guy for H a Hang on a second, month. Francie. You know, the show tonight, the, the soup, it was so <laughs> damn funny. Did you, see, did you see the wife swap before the fight? Do you have any idea what happened before that? No, no I don't, idea. because uh, I don't watch that show. Uh, I just watch American Idol over and over now. It's sad. Uh, you know, what, what else? I'm trying yeah. to think what else was on tonight's episode, because my wife's going, uh, this, the soup is the funniest it's ever been I'm tonight. I'm trying to think of the... Uh, the and I saw you and Tom fall off the mountain. Yeah, we fell outside. off the mountain, and then, well, there was lots and lots of this Charlie Sheen and... Oh, Denise. yeah, what, what did she say? What was that? I wanted. I was interested in hearing what she was saying. What her? What? Oh, that sh she. Oh gosh, I hate. You. I feel this is dirty, when I feel dirty, most dirty. Yes, is yes. when I talk about things like this that I know them. Hold on a second, Francie. Just one sec, Francie. Uh, is that they? This they? Ah, uh, the shows are covered. We call it the love pentagram of, of Denise and Locklear and Sambora and, and Sambora and Locklear have been seen together in like four years. No, anyway, right? and yeah. it's just and now she's and then she was on camera kissing him at a restaurant, but she holds her hair back to kiss him so all the reporters can take photos of it to make yeah. sure it's oh her. Oh my god! And uh, and then he then Sheen is cutting their wedding photos in half and saying the worst day of my life. And then all of a sudden David Spade's walking out of restaurants with them. And then uh, uh, it's uh, what did Denise say? Uh, what did she say as far as... I, I don't know. You had a clip of her saying something, I thought. Oh, uh, well, this is the one where and I, I could hardly pay attention to it about how... I don't even remember... Actually, do I, rem I don't even remember what she said. She said something along the lines of uh, that there, she's still... F she's not friends with... I don't care. Right, I don't right. want to... Oh, I hate it. All right, Francie, I what's going it. on? I can't... Okay. Francie. There you go. Get to okay. it. Okay. Sorry. Um, so I've been with this guy for about nine months. And about a month ago, we got into this really big fight. I don't even remember what it was about. But um, he wouldn't, like, I told him to just take me home. And he didn't want to. And I kept pushing it, you know, take me home because I didn't want to sit there. He was going to be all pissed off at me. So. Hold on. Now, let's be honest. You were this screaming is... hysterically, take me home, right? No, no, no. You were, right. you were saying it as calmly as you're saying it right now? Well, <laughs> not that calmly, but I wasn't no. screaming at him. I was mm -hmm. just like, take me home now, you know. And yeah. Wait, do it how you act. I, I, I'll, how pl you I'll play your boyfriend, it. okay? Yeah. I'm not okay. taking you home. No, take me home now. No, I'm not going to take you home. No, seriously. Get him a no, and take me home. No, you serious. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay. All right, that's pretty. Yeah, so that's she pretty was pretty good, yeah. reasonable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and so then what happened? He, we get in the car, and he starts, he's like, he's all pissed off. He's driving like a maniac, and I wanted to talk to him about it, right? And so I started to talk to him, and so he turns up the radio, and I got really Smart. pissed off because, like, obviously, was, he, like, turns it up so he doesn't have to hear me talk. It was too bad if it wasn't a James Blunt song, because that would have solved everything. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. But, um, so I smacked his arm, and it wasn't, I mean, it's like a girl slap. Come on, that's weak. And... Um, he gets all pissed off, and he turns into the nearest parking lot and starts screaming at me to get the F out of his car. And I started, you know, crying, and I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. Just please just take me home. I'm really sorry. I'll just be quiet. I'll leave you alone. And he kept screaming at me to get out of his car and came around to the other door and opened the door and, like, went to grab me but then stopped, you know, uh -huh. and just kept yelling at me to get out. So he didn't, like, force me to get out of the car. And when 
I this wanna... has been Loveline. Yes. Well, these are wonderful <laughs> Thank stories. Thank you so much for... And jumping. so, what's the question? Oh, well, was it right for him to, like, do that? I mean, was it all my fault because I wouldn't leave him alone? Was it okay for him Can to... Can we go back to you asking, Joel, what was on the soup earlier? Because you can't <laughs> count on the <laughs> If you... Uh, I, uh, here's the deal, Francis. Here's, uh, it's, yes. it's not okay for him to dump you somewhere. No, that's not okay. And it's not okay for you to hit him in the arm. Not okay for you to hit him in the arm. Or for him to turn up the radio. And to scream at you. The whole thing sounds like a mess. Is he not, how old is he? We're both 19. And it, have you been getting along until this night? Um, yeah, we have. Like, I mean, we never, we, we had, like, little fights and stuff here and there. Was, but was, was alcohol like involved in this at all? No, the drugs? neither of us drank. Th then... Uh, I guarantee you, you weren't as reasonable as you claim to have been. Yeah. Either that or he has a brain tumor. Do you really like this guy? Do you really care about this guy? I do a lot, yes. All right. All right then well, go, then sit down and chat with him about what happened and how you feel about yeah, it. Yeah, you both did things that if, were if, dumb if in the car. you provoke him, I'm not, I, th there's nothing about what he did that was right. But if, if, it, if it came out of nowhere, then you need to be, get away from this guy. Yes. Okay. But don't hit him during an argument. Right. If, on the other hand, you were escalated, he was escalated, it was a, just a bad thing that spiraled out of control for both of you, maybe there's some hope. All right, Frank. All right? Okay, thank you. All right. All right. I don't know if we helped her. Yeah, we I don't did. Think she's <laughs> well, at least made a look at what her role might have been in all that. Tammy? Hi. Great name. Thanks. Your wife's name? No. No, because you like that name. <laughs> no. I'm sure she's happy to hear about that, too. That Tammy's a... Ever had a girlfriend named Tammy? Nope. Never, I just thought Tam named Tammy. No, never did. Mm -hmm. Short for right. Tamra. I really haven't. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate oh, no, yeah, seriously. I know it sounds. Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, sure, it sure. sounds like. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Sarah. How she you doing? That guy Sarah, in Farmington. Okay, just, sorry, Joel's a great guy. I know. <laughs> What's up, Tammy? Um, Joel's gonna make fun of me. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. <laughs> I've been having sex with my boyfriend, with my best friend, for um over a year now. Best friend, we male. Yeah. Male. Be best male, friend. yeah, okay. Yes. All right. And when we first met, he told me that he likes to go down on girls, but um, he has not gone down on me, and he doesn't like to kiss me either. Well, you're best friends, you know. It's not like you're going out for a year. You've been I having sex for a year? What was that? You've been having sex together for a year? Yeah, we've been best friends for about a year and a half. And, <laughs> and like, sex for a year? Yeah. Tammy, 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 <laughs> come on. <laughs> He's using you. Or something. something well, I, if, if the, I, I, I don't know what's up, but something is up. Tammy, you're in love with him, yes? Yes. I care about him a lot. Yeah. Oh, and, oh so let me reinterpret. Here's right. why it's so confusing. Okay. okay. Tammy is into, what's his name? Brandon. Brandon. Tammy's into Brandon. So Tammy came on strong at the very beginning. Right. Brandon did not respond. No. No. So but he happened to tell her that he was really into giving oral sex. And because he's talking about other girls because he is her friend. Right. They land squarely in Friendville. Uh, she keeps Adam, Adam, Adam. He sort of grants her some, some right. sex. This is how you met and, your wife. And <laughs> not at all. <laughs> and, and now they're just having sex, but he's <laughs> never left Friendville. She's all the way in right. now. And here we are. So, this is still a friend, Tammy. That's why yeah. he doesn't want to... What? I agree, like... Did, did uh, I tell the story exactly as it happened? No, yes and no. Like, he's the one who approached me and started calling me. And uh -huh. he had a girlfriend. You have, I really want you to be my best friend. Because you had a friend he wanted to talk to. Why are we best to? friends? You're great. No, I didn't need a friend to talk to. He had a girlfriend when we first met. No, I'm saying he. you had a friend that he wanted to get to. No. His uh -huh. best friend was... Uh, messing around with my best friend, and they both had um, somebody else, and then oh, we Lord. hung out because they were messing you were around. Because you, you were both in the middle of the chaos, Don't and let, so you were talking about Tammy, that, just so. stop letting this guy treat you like this. Yeah, that's not good. Go, you got to well, get away from this guy. And by the way, stop denying that you're not completely into this guy. Yeah. Stop that. Especially, yeah. And stop, and stop thinking because he has sex with you, he has any feelings for you other than friendly, and he stop thinking... every day. Tammy. Well, oh, you're right. Well, that makes sense. And it okay. stop thinking about changing him because guys do not change that. No. Way. Just give it two like more it. years and maybe it'll work. In two more years? I don't Yeah, like just try. No, it will not work. I'm Be kidding. Cold turkey. You just break break the habit. Get here. away. Yeah, it's not a. It's just, just think the, uh, something that's out of control. Get on a drill team. No. <laughs> that's my advice it's for everyone. Anything. He was really sweet. Oh. Okay, so you got that, Tammy? Okay, good. Okay. 
Uh, Before we have to take a break. Uh, Josh. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. Good. Uh, you, buddy? My girlfriend has kind of a weird quirk. She's been doing it for about three or four months right now, and I've, I've kind of just looked past it, but I wonder if you had any idea. Are you uh, about to give a weather report on a radio station? We're in a Are you in a uh, helicopter? But, uh, Josh, we got a... Uh, Every time, ahead, she, uh, every time she performs a little sex on me, she makes me ejaculate in a in a shot glass before she'll swallow. <laughs> wow! Yeah, Is she? Uh, the first time it happened, I was like, whatever. But yeah, she why does she bother? She a big fan of the movie Cocktail? No, I mean I don't know what it is. I mean she's just been doing it for a while now, and I just you know, kind of look past it because whatever you know. But I was just wondering. Hey, you're or you know it. Why don't you tell her to, to skip the whole collection part and just maybe use a towel? That's what I'm trying to say, but she won't. I mean, we've gotten a, a big argument. I don't know. About it. I'm just I think you know. should uh, mix it up. Maybe a champagne flute, uh, yeah. ra straw raspberry in there. Yeah, maybe a brandy snifter and uh, collect it over a yeah, yeah and then light put a little light lighter it. underneath yeah. it. No, no, to, light it on the whole thing. Oh flambe. yeah, you could just flambe. put a, you just put a night. Oh, semen au flambe, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Should I keep on pursuing her? Should I just let it go? Oh, Josh, you smoke a little pot, too, don't you? Yeah. Josh, you smoking some pot, baby? No, regular. No, no, she's not a druggie. No, no, you. No, Jack, Dr. Pot. Drew is accusing you. Oh, do I smoke pot? Yeah, pretty regularly. Oh, no, I don't smoke pot at all. Oh, yeah. oh okay. <laughs> I drink beer, but that's about it. But, yeah, I mean, I'm just saying. I so is it weird when you go to a bar day. now and get a shot in a beer? Dude, I can't drink shots anymore. You don't even know. <laughs> Because you, you feel gay maybe, if you drink maybe, a shot. Maybe that's what she's... Every time I see a shot glass, I think of baby batter, and it gets me all weird. Oh, okay. Thanks, bud. Maybe that's Sweet. what she... Maybe that was her plan. Maybe she's trying to get you sober. Uh, do we have to go to a commercial We have now? to go to a commercial break. Hey, this is... Uh, it's good radio. Uh, shot glasses. It's 1-800-L-O-V-E-191. I just want to recap. We're going to talk about... Uh, uh -huh. Penis semen flambe. Right. We're going to talk about carving off the penis to get the translucent fish out of your okay. urethra. And the topic... You and I both enjoy it. We haven't brought up yet tonight is the gentleman that had the piercing that got infection and lost his ah, penis. Ah, so yes. We have uh, to have a that's discussion That's my favorite. About that. yes, yes. All those things, if you really wanted to, could be put into a meal. It's 1 800 L O V E 191. That's crazy. It's Love Line, 1 800 L O V E 191. Also, Jet. Jet is still Jet. here. Yeah. yeah. We're just talking about the old time days of radio when I was. 13. Thank you. <laughs> Not around. I was 60. Yeah. I, uh, hey, Kim. Yeah. Well, what the heck? Uh, what's the, happening there? What, what's happening? Uh, like, I don't know. Uh, I guess you guys know the question. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What's the question? Um, okay, well, I'm talking to this guy, right? And I'm talking to this guy. Didn't she say that? Yeah, she was talking to a guy. All right, thanks. Anderson heard effing, I think. Yeah, I think that so, too. Is that what that was? Nice job. Could be. Done anything. Um. Hold on, guys. I just had to deal with that, but it was clearly effing this guy. Uh, okay, clearly. All right. All right. Okay, all right. Let's so, so anyway. No, can go back to her because I like her question. But all right, first, I go to Cam. Garrity uh, first. Yeah, let's go. Who do you want? Garrity. Hey, What's up, Garrity? Oh, hey. Um, hey. I had a question. Hey. Uh, Anderson, I'm a big fan of you. Um, you make the show funny. Uh, I was wondering uh. how two uh, lesbians uh, have a baby. Are you asking Anderson or us? I'm asking you guys. Uh, you just uh, press really hard together, right, Dr. Drew? And then poof, yeah. baby's invented. You, yeah, uh, that's what happens, right? You can go to a sperm bank. You can ask a friend. You, what, what is, I don't understand your question. Uh, I don't, well, one time I think I was, I was listening and you said that you were and you didn't want to get into it. What? He just was possessed by a demon. Yes, I hear that. You have to know David Crosby. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, there's all I, sorts of ways you can. Yeah, have you this just done. need you need the sperm donor. You need someone to provide the sperm, and then you have the baby. Oh, uh, okay. What? What? Got it. I, what? You thought there was some sort of spontaneous way? I, I thought you know you, there's a little bit of magic or something. You did put a no. stone on them or something, and that made it happen or something like that. No. Go, go, yeah. Do me a favor and go. Yeah. His punch your, punch yeah have your, your friends and the, and the guy in the background going. <laughs> You're so stupid, dude. <laughs> Thanks, Garrity. All right, should we try Kim again, or should we? Let's All right, Kim, we got no, punch her up. no more of that. None of the F word or the S word. You got it? I didn't say it. Well, that's okay, well, Anderson, Anderson I, he, yeah. Well, if she didn't say it, then that means she said, I'm talking, my friend. 
when I'm talking <laughs> I'm my guy? I'm talking to him. You didn't say two, baby. Oh, I'm sorry. Continue well, your white okay, trash story. We'd love to hear it. Go ahead. Okay, I'm talking to a guy, and yeah. I'm 16, he's 25, and the age is not a problem in my family. <laughs> <laughs> What's not a problem in your family? No, the age isn't a problem. The age is not a problem? Be Kim, before this continues, will you do me a favor? Will you kick your shoes off for a second? They were off already. What are you talking about? Just kick your shoes. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, and can you just look down and count up Count up the toes there? There's ten. Okay. Well, yeah. I don't believe you, but go ahead. Are you expecting a hoof or something? <laughs> so who are you trying to convince it's okay to have this relationship? Wait, just to, just to fill flesh this out a bit. When you say your family doesn't have a problem with age, who is in your family? My mom and my dad, they, they accept it. They accept it because they have no choice? Um, I guess pretty much that's it. And they just, they say they want me to be happy. Since, no. Since they're well, brother and sister, they have no room to talk. Is the oh, you're a good point. Well said. <laughs> All right, so what's the question? Um, well, I just recently found out that he's a skinhead. And, uh, I... Uh, weird. Was he wearing a hat the whole time? No. <laughs> No? He just... Maybe he thought he was in the ROTC or something? No, he's not bald. He just... He believes in everything that they believe in. He's... He's, he's, a, he's a white uh, supremacist. He's a racist. He's a yeah. racist. I supremacist. see. Right. Clearly the kind of guy you want to hang out with. Yeah. He sounds great so far. I'm sure that your parents... Yeah, they definitely want you to be happy. So... <laughs> you still... He, he you still like him? On it. Yeah, like, it doesn't, I, I have to respect it because to me it's like, if I don't respect that, it's like, why should people respect that I'm okay with gays? Mm, what? What? I what? <laughs> well, I, I want to follow that reasoning again. If you're not okay with the skinhead, right, then what? Uh, well, why should people respect um, people who believe that it's okay to be gay? That they, or the people that don't think it's okay, like, I have respect for them. We'll just leave that music and play away. Kim, you you need your own talk show. <laughs> I want to say that first. Well, first of all, it would be great for you guys. I don't... Yeah, oh, Think man. Of all oh, if it was called uh, Kim and Skin... Kim and Friends. Oh, 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 perfect. And it was mostly about her... Kim, convinced, Skin, and Friends. Yeah, and mostly her about trying to convince uh, her parents. And then they would go to... Uh, they, would, they would have gay people come in, and she would reason with them, and then he would, uh, he would go nuts. I, I I don't know. It's, I'll pitch it later. But yeah. So, but Kim, so Kim, we're, on one hand, you're talking about people who have a particular attraction uh, to attraction patterns, and it's their own I business. I think it's pretty much respecting as a, people's views. As opposed to somebody who believes that other people are less than him and should be harmed. Uh, that's a little different. It's a little different. Yeah. You should have kids with him. <laughs> that would make you even happier. What? But if I, can, if I can only respect people that are black, how am I supposed to not respect the people that want to hang the black people? <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. Or murderers. We, you should be, Kim, you should respect murderers because it's just one way of looking at things. People want to kill other people. I just have a lot of respect. That's pretty much it. I'm really smart. Don't, don't keep putting that music off. I need to you hear should. it. Play it in my head. Keep it going. Just keep going. Hey, keep the call. Hey, Kim. Uh, other, I don't know what we can tell you uh, other than uh, you're making the worst mistake of your life so and, far. And your thinking is gravely impaired. Other than that, go for it. Well, it's, now, uh, and by the way, he may not be, he, he may be a misguided person and may be able to be brought around. I'm he not saying that. Right, right. and she's the one to do it. Uh, the 16-year-old girl. <laughs> you should watch Coal Miner's Daughter. Yeah, and, uh, that's a good idea. <laughs> you should just see how that goes. Yeah. That's a good idea. Coal Miner's Daughter, you get that at the video store, okay? Kim, I, just to, to give you an analogy, uh, if, if we were wartime, uh, if we were doctors in a, uh, in a war and they brought in about uh, 10 injured soldiers and we thought five of them were not going to be savable, we we're going to start with the guys that are savable. And you seem like a person who uh, may, not be. may not be. That's why. Let me just, add, let me just ask a quick question just to test the waters. Hitler should respect his point of views? Just another point of view? Um, yeah, just uh, another point of view. Okay. All right. Just checking. I don't. <laughs> uh, just checking. Just checking. Yeah, uh, do you I see? actually have a problem with the whole Nazism. Oh, no, <laughs> why? That's a, it's just a point of view. Well, well, I, I don't know. You're, you're, that's going to be a real Why would you draw the line there? If people why? are Nazis, well, I respect that they are. That's you respect that they're Nazis. Okay. Yeah, you're going to, you're, uh, oh, boy. 
Okay. I don't even. Okay, Kim. Uh, wow. Let's go back to Love Line. Okay. Um, let's try number six. Oh, oh wait, we gotta take a break. We gotta take a break. We gotta take a break. Can't, let's just let's just quickly I'm just test yes. this one. I need I need a cleanser, a palate cleanser. Yeah, James. Can. James, go. Hey, Doctor Drew. James. Big fan of your work. Thank you, buddy. Um, yeah, I had a quick question about um, condoms and such. Um, whenever I have sex, uh, sometimes it starts to slip during the end of it. Uh, you have a small penis, you fag. Well, we will see. We will see. It we're, will we're, be. We're gonna, we we're will help you. Condom talk. James, just hang in there. Hang in there for us through this break. Yeah. It's Love Line, 1-800-L-O-V-E-191, 1-800-L-O-V-E-191. We'll be right back. Love Line, 1-800-L-O-V-E-191. That is the number to call us with your problems, uh, which we will uh, make fun of and discuss on the air, and then Dr. Drew will actually help you. Who are we? Uh, we are uh, Dr. Dr. Drew Pinsky, Thank a you. board certified voodoo uh, specialist, specialist yeah, yeah. and I am Joel McHale from The Soup on E! Friday nights at 10, and it repeats 400 times a week. Right. Play the game and try to watch all the episodes. Excellent. Well, this week was very funny. Thanks, man. Well, Tom did help a lot. Tom, I'm just so did, happy to see Did you see that uh, that monkey, uh, the, uh, what is it, the, the monkey clip we had to show from the internet again? That yes, monkey, with uh, the monkey. Why did you show I wonder, because, I thought, I thought I'd seen that before. Uh, of all the things for our lawyers to... Uh, be upset by, uh -oh. or that we they p apparently con like. There's all these things we do that I look at the lawyers. And I'm like, we're not going to be con sued for that. Yeah. Are you crazy? Yeah. And uh, and then this comes up and they contact us, and so we had to give this website credit for this thing. So we had to show it again. And I there felt was a monkey jumping over. Yeah, and yeah. I just felt like I, there was this. I'll tell you what happened. We did this thing called the 101 most numbered numbered moments. Oh, was that your one of your interns in there? Um, yeah, well, well one of our one of our writers and then uh and then Brett Michaels of uh right. of Molly Crew. Uh I thought it was somebody just pretending to be No, it was really him. Show. He agreed to do it. Oh, but funny. at one point I, it was the most numbered numbers which was just counting from down. Poison, yeah. yeah, from oh, sorry, from poison. Uh, uh and uh, we're just counting down numbers as a joke and I said my math teacher was a whore. And then our lawyer was like, "Dude, we can't say that." Why? Well, one of your math teachers might sue us. Oh. And I'm like, are you... Oh, oh. oh it was great. Oh. Oh, and so I'm being sued by four math teachers. But no one, not one of them knows which one's the whore. Right. Uh, so, uh, I mean, let's, let's face it. Truth is, your, is, is the defense. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just be up front with them when they sue me. All right. That was great. Let's, should we go back to James? James, yes. I'm like James. Uh, James, so go ahead. So the condom keeps falling off and you want a condom suspender, right? What's that? You're looking for a condom suspender? Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you actually shouldn't need that. Is it, how long do you have sex before it starts to slip off? Um, probably about 20 minutes into it, maybe. maybe yeah, that, that's minutes. part of it. That's a little bit on the, on the prolonged side there. Is right. there uh, it's hard to keep track of something for 20 minutes like that. You, you really need to keep checking to make sure it's on every 30 that's, seconds to a minute or so. Yeah, uh, that's pretty much what I do. It's just I want to not have to worry about that. I thought maybe there's uh, like... If you're going to go uh, for 20 minutes, you can go for 20. I mean, smaller. try to, smaller, um, yeah. there are different sizes out there. There are. There's a uh, junior, and uh, maybe you could use electrical tape. Yeah, well, is that a bad idea? I that was the Trojans bad advice. are going to come out with one that's tighter around the base pretty soon. They, yeah, that's probably hurt. Yeah. James, you might want to try a water balloon. <laughs> what? They're, They're really small. small. Oh, I see. Oh, that's a great Very idea. Tiny. Uh, I'm trying to think. So it's the 20 minute thing, really, right, Dr. Joe? Yeah, it's the fact that he's going for so long. I'm just thinking you may want to put a little bit of lubricant on the tip and that make the tip move around more without taking the whole thing up and down, the whole condom <laughs> off the shaft. And there are smaller varieties out there, and you might want to check that out. What about yeah. the, the things like the rings? Would that help it hold it on, or would that make like it a, break easier? Like the vibrating rings, that kind of thing? Or what are you talking about? Just like a regular rubber uh, penis ring or something. A C ring. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think that would help things How at all. How about a uh, one of those twisty ties you use on a hefty bag? No, I don't think it would. It really is a part of proper condom use is checking for slippage. You have to pay, pay attention. You just do. Okay. And when you pull out, you got to hold the base because it can't right. move, and that's just the way it is. And it's going to be great when you come home with a box of condoms for a smaller size, and you'll be very happy, I think, and, and it, you can <laughs> proclaim that loudly to your friends. Yes. All right. All, all right. right, James. Good times. Wow. We helped them. Yeah. 
And what do you think, Dr. Joe? Who's next? Anything? Three. All right, good. Oh, you're a fast reader. Campbell. Or no, Lee. Yeah. <laughs> Lee Campbell. <laughs> yeah. Joseph Campbell's on the line, it says everyone. she's from Campbell. Where is Campbell? Campbell's in, um, it's in Santa Clara County, and, like by San Jose, Santa Cruz, and, you know. All right. In the state area. of California. Got it. North, central yeah. Northern California. What's up? Um, the thing is, is I kind of need to know how I can um, set myself up to let my husband have anal sex with me because he really likes it, and I want to give it to him, but I'm a little, like, a, a tight butt. <laughs> oh, you're kidding. How dare you? Oh, tight no. A? I, well, it's just, I don't know what I can do to, to loosen myself up. I've, I've invited my, my, you know, vibrator in when we've done many different positions, and sometimes it's just, I think maybe he's just too big for it, and I don't know. Your vibrator, you're, you've invited your vibrator in, is that what you said? <laughs> yes. Does your vibrator have a name? I like how you chose invite. <laughs> no. Uh, Clarence? Me. It's like, Victor, <laughs> come on in. Come on in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I'm just concerned because, you know, if, if this is something that I have to do as his wife, I mean, I have to, but I have to say I have a child, and after I had my son, which is, he's only two years old, um, the cesarean after that, I had like a hemorrhoid. <laughs> nice. I don't, I don't know. Oh, if just keep going, in. though. That will help. Surgery, hemorrhoids, doesn't matter. You'll add to the in your duty. inviting quality that you're sort of uh, alluding to. Here, here's the deal. You don't have to do anything, Lee. What are you talking about? What do you mean you have to do it? Well, I don't have to, but I'd like to, and I do enjoy it. I mean, you do. Well, you I know do. what's really cool, Doctor Drew, when you're about fifty and you can't keep your stool up in there. Yeah, <laughs> that's the best. That's totally cool. I'm Didn't into we, that. We had a we had an anal prolapse lady in here. No, so like, really. Not, yeah. Uh, I'm not like. Yes. Hold on, Lee. Just listen. I want you to hear about Lee, anal prolapse. Yes, rectal prolapse will does occur. It happens in women in their seventies and eighties, and I'm expecting uh -oh. to see a lot more of it from all this anal sex stuff. And it's basically like you know those. Um, you know those those toys that are like these tubes you can't you can never hang under yeah. invaginate yeah yeah that's what falls out of your rear um, oh, that's what no. rectal prolapse look like and when it does that it cuts off the blood supply and you get your colon starts to become ischemic and it'll die and you have to get a surgical emergency what does ischemic mean the blood supply is cut off it's dying oh it's just, just that's when you gang, that's gangrene. when it's stopped oh and so you've got to just you've got to go to surgery immediately when that happens sometimes. so Lee doesn't that sound great. That sounds wonderful. And then, and then hemorrhoids, <laughs> and then fissures, and then tearing, and then stenosis, which is a scarring and narrowing. It's all just good times. But e Lee, I think you should uh, get your husband to maybe use a cucumber in his anus, and then that way ah, you can kind of, uh, he can appreciate what you're going through. <laughs> Amen, my God. <laughs> I'm serious. You think we're kidding. Yeah, we I'm are, not kidding. I'm serious, not serious. Too. Yeah. yeah. I'm not the fact joking. this guy's keeping at you about this thing that... Huh, come on, I know you had the C-section, now you got the hemorrhoids, and it's really painful for you, but come on! <laughs> God, you're my wife! <laughs> I, I would do it know. for you. Yeah, come on! Jackson uh, in the other room's gonna wake up, and we're not gonna even be close to being... You're not gonna be... Oh. I mean, the, what you said about... That, that conversation you know. sounded a little bit too close. Yeah, to, to I, I was trying to find a... I was trying to hip... I was trying to find a hip name... <laughs> That parents are using, and it seems like everyone has named their kid Jackson in the last two years, so I chose Jackson. Well, was I right? I, I think your kid's name is Jackson. I don't know. I just... I. What's your, what's your son's name? Oh, well, uh, uh, Rasta. Rasta? <laughs> yes, oh, that, Rasta. Oh, now, now yeah, your husband's now coming into focus for all. me. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. When is the last time you shaved your armpits? Oh, my gosh. I'm not a hippie. How dare you? <laughs> How no, dare you? I, okay, so if I have to worry about my butt falling out of my body when I get older, then I mean, yeah. there's that's just yeah. that really a well, possibility. Here, if you, uh, he, yes, he, he, he's yes, had I've, someone on yes. the show who's had the I problem. I somebody last week just called had this happen to them from from anal sex. But, but here's a, once again, I think give it's it, anal sex. You should try for three more years, <laughs> and then when it does, and happen, if it call doesn't. <laughs> If it doesn't work, then, you know, just move. Here's the deal. There is somebody out there that writes about this stuff from a so, yeah, fairly pragmatic point of view. Her name is Tristan Terramino, and you can look it up online. Tristan, she has okay. a couple books about this, and there are ways to dilate and blah, 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 and, and um, I just have grave concerns about this for women's health. Be careful, Lee. Tristan Terramino, okay? Yes, thank you. All right, good times. Wow, All that's right. a great marriage. That's it may be. It's wow. Just, uh, Okay, uh, let's go to one. Holly? Yeah, hi. All right. What's okay. going on? 
Um, so, in the, it was a couple, it was, I think it was like a month ago, uh-huh. um, I went to... Are you playing the guitar while you're talking to us? Uh, no. Is there some sort of <laughs> terrifying soundtrack for this phone call? Sorry. <laughs> Here. No, okay, so I went to this party, and um, I was kind of sketch about it anyways, like going, just because I was like, well, whatever, but... Totally. I was, okay, I'll have Hold on, necessary. Dude, <laughs> dude, dude you well, like sketch. Okay. <laughs> and like, I'm totally, I was like, whatever, like a sketch. But it adds to the story somehow. Okay, okay. Sorry. Um, and so my friends were like, okay, we'll watch you, you know, just to make sure you don't get out of hand or anything. I was like, okay, that's cool. So. What? Well, hold on. Holly, these thoughts aren't connecting for us. I'm sorry. <laughs> what, okay. what, made you, what made you sketch about the party? Just because the people there, they're kind of like, <clears throat> I don't know. Oh. And what do you mean your friends Maybe. were going to watch you so you wouldn't get out of hand? You're at yeah, a party, like, you don't... Like, so I wouldn't, like, puke on die. <laughs> you were like, look, you guys, this party could be a little rough. I don't know what's going on. Will you guys keep an eye on me? I'm still going to get so hammered I'm going to puke and possibly die. I didn't die. plan on it, but, oh, well, I don't know. But playing a drinking game got out of hand. <laughs> right. So, so, and then that led to... And so I was, um, I saw one of my friends that I knew from junior high there, and so we were talking... And I passed out, and uh-huh. I woke up, and I had two guys on either side of me. Mm. Two, two guys? I mean, four guys? Oh, no. Well, one on either side of me. Sorry. One on either side of you. Yeah. Right. And so then, you know, I, like, look down, and, like, you know, I don't like my skirts off, and I'm like, okay, what happened? So they kind of, like, basically kind of took advantage of me, both of them. And I woke up and I'm like, "What just happened?" And were you were you unconscious during this time or blacked out? Blacked out. So you were up and around participating with them. Not that I remember. I know you don't remember, but you were. I, That's I what a blackout so. is. A blackout yeah. is you do things. You go, no one knows you're blacked out. No one can tell that. They just think you're uh, mm-hmm. partying with them. Yeah. Yeah. They don't know. They, that this you're is that a kind. sign of alcoholism, Holly. And this is one of the many, many consequences you're going to have from this disease. I know. And it's like one of the biggest regrets of my life. But it's Why don't we, so why don't we work on getting sober? Oh, yeah. Yeah, especially I, from I, you leading up with that, uh, make sure I don't get out of hand at this sketch party. Well, okay. Background information now. Like, I just, like, I have went through a really bad breakup. And it's not an excuse to drink, but I was, like, you know, going to have fr- fun with my these friends that I'd like met from junior high that like I, was, I saw them there I was like oh hey reunion and I was telling them about it because you know um, my ex-boyfriend and I like we all went to the same junior high and we all knew each other and it was a really you bad breakup and like <sighs> um, alright so t- alright 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 all right. This that doesn't okay yeah that means you can I, drink I'm worried about a your lot. sobriety I'm worried about the, you were raped I'm worried about trauma survivorship. I'm worried that what you're going to do now, you're going to be tendency to act out sexually after having been through something like that. Well, yeah, and yeah. so that's my question. Like, I am totally asexual. I, like, don't... It's, like, even, like, masturbation. I just... Nothing. Like, Good. I'm so... Good. That's, that's your body... That, that's fine for now. That's your body protecting itself. That's your body not wanting to have two guys on either side of her after a night of blacking out. Oh, yeah. And so, I guess, I was calling just because is there anything like just other than time like i don't know here's the deal this you you want my recommendation this is what you need to do you need to see a doctor and get examined for stds you need to take the morning after pill which i god willing you've already done you need then to ask for a referral for a psychologist or psychiatrist and begin working on this problem and it's going to include hopefully recovery from alcoholism that's what you need to do. And not, no amount of carrying on with your friends or your peers is, or what, you know, there's no solution you can do without some help here. This is going to, this is going to spiral and get worse unless you do something now. And God knows you may have something medically going on as well in the meantime. So let's take care of this. Okay. Okay. In fact, I'd recommend five partners all at once. All uh, right. That's yeah, right. That's, 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 right. that's my basic You got that, Holly? Got it. And wear frumpy clothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay? Will do. No makeup either. (laughs) Okay, perfect.
Mm, take it's a little like Vicodin to tonight, take some codeine, smoke a little heroin. <laughs> the problem, by the way, the problem with Holly is this sexual shutdown will result eventually in hypersexuality. And she'll fluctuate back so and she'll forth. zip over there. Yeah, she'll go into super sex mode and then shut back down. So again. Holly needs to get maybe a counselor. She needs a, a counselor, team of counselors. Her, yes, she needs to be hit with a, some sort of dart. Yes, a taser. And good. dragged good, somewhere. Good, nice. And counseled. Well done. Okay, great. Uh, Maggie? Yeah? What's up? I Are you have okay? A All right, go ahead. Well, actually, could you talk quieter? Who, me? Yeah, it's really loud. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I, I have a problem that when I say that I want to have sex, I really do at that that moment, but when I want to have sex like the next day, I don't. I stay in the morning and back up. Excellent. Oh, you mean after you've done it? Yeah. Oh. Maybe you ought to sort of learn from that and maybe next time realize that it's one thing to have a desire to do it. The actual doing of it may be something you're not ready for. Maybe. Because I really want to do it. And I don't know what's I know you on. do. You really, really want to, but you you're, have the sense enough to know that it's not a good thing for you. Yeah. Can, Can you you're wait? only 16. Just hang on. Just delay. The longer like you delay, the better. Like a year or so? 14 years? Be even better, but just you just at least another year. Just hang on. Realize that, that it, listen, practicing containing desire like that's not such a bad thing. So just because you really, really, really want to. It's a really you good thing to. to contain it. Yes. Doesn't mean you have to just because you really, really want to. Okay. It's, like it's not. Really good. Like, like if I masturbate, like, like I don't want to be with anybody else. But it's besides good. yourself, you mean? Yeah. Well, why don't you stay stay with yourself? That's good. So it's like it's not bad, like at all. To to yeah. masturbate? Yeah. To be, no. Why would you think it was bad? Because I do it really often, like because I really want to have sex. How and often? This, like almost like every day. That's all right, and then that helps curtail your desire a little bit. Yeah. Sometimes well done. Not all the time. All right. Well done. All right. Just well done. That's good. That's a yeah, strategy. It's way better than getting mixed up with uh, the boys. Especially Holly, that last caller. Don't yeah. go to a party with her. Right. Okay? All right. Thank you. It's all good. All right. Okay, great. That was... Okay. It's good times. Uh, should we go with that one? Do you want to? I, s I don't know. It's a good, there's a guy up here that wants to do more skinhead talk, and I, I've had about uh, a pass full of that. So much. All right, let's go to... A, you want to do it? No, let's no. go to five. Okay. Jasmine? And, and so by the way, it's, nothing, it's, it's not the skinhead in... It's no, it's specifically. The, it's the yeah. whole... Thing I'm not into. So. Yeah, not no, not yet. Yeah. Jasmine. 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 Call her who goes by Jasmine. Jasmine, your smell. Hello. There she is. There. <laughs> Hi, how are you guys doing? We're great. great. Well, um, my question, I have a couple of questions tonight. And the one is, um, well, I've been seeing this guy for almost a year. And um, I'm only, I just turned, well, I didn't just turn 17, but I was 16 when I was with him, and I was having, like, sex and everything. But uh, what's it called? I gained a lot of weight. I used to weigh, like, 150, and I weigh, like, 130. So I'm wondering, You're like... You're fat. Yeah. <laughs> wait, but you used to be what? Now you weigh what? I used to weigh 150, and now I weigh 180. And I'm, like, uh, gained, like, wait, I'm 5'8". We thought I'm you like, said 130. Yes. Oh, okay, yeah. It's, yeah, I did too. But anyways, yeah. Well, like, my question is, like, is it weed? Because I, I started, like, smoking weed when I was with him as well. So I was wondering, like, is it weed? Is it the sex? Because I'm addicted to sex and food now, so. I think I it's the misuse of the word like, but. Yeah, uh, there's that. Uh, pot doesn't help, right? It makes you stimulate diet. makes you want to eat chunky food. Right. Raises your insulin level and uh, it creates a craving. In fact, in fact there's going to be a medication coming up very soon. That's a marijuana blocking drug that will block the munchies, basically reverse the munchies, give you the anti munchies. But will people start eat. using that for dieting? Yes, it's going to be used. It's going to be dieting. Yeah, right? okay. Yeah, it's it's going to be actually for cardiac medications because not only do they lose weight, their cholesterol goes down. Oh. So, yeah, okay. it's called Ramona Band. So how does that sound to you, Jasmine? That sounds really. I'm, I'm going to be. I'm going to start using it for marijuana addiction too to see just to see. <laughs> I mean, it's not been approved for that. I don't know if it's been studied for that yet. All right. But, uh, well, sense, my right? second question is. Hold on, um, Jasmine. So you're saying, Dr. Drew, that this could put Weight Watchers and all those diet plans out of business because well, I, you know what, the, in the studies on this medication, I've been watching it pretty carefully. About 30 percent of the people that take it drop out because of anxiety and depression. Really? Uh, they, they, so, so it's on got a lot are? of side effects. Yeah. So a lot of people Boring. are not people to take it. All right, Jasmine. Anyway, the deal is diet, exercise, get a, you know, get a trainer, start running, stop eating so much, get off the pot. If you can't, go to M.A. This boyfriend sounds like a bad thing yeah. for you. He's 23 yeah. or 17. Yeah, bad, bad, time. bad, bad. He's getting, you, he's getting you strung out at 16. Yeah. Come on. Get away from that guy, Jasmine. Join the drill team. Oh, okay, yeah. That was my second question because... Yes, I join the drill ahead. team or the flag team. 
I was like wanting to get away from him for a while, but I can't. For some reason, I can't. Like he. Because you're he fat, and he can catch you. You don't run. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great point. <laughs> Gotta love Jasmine for her great attitude, though, right? She's like, I'm fat. I can't get away from my crazy boyfriend. Like, was that, that, that drop you up from Monique Anderson? It's you have that? great. <laughs> what do you mean you can't get rid of him? Well, like, okay, like, I can. Like, I've tried everything, and nothing seems to work. Ah, did like, you call the police? Another boy. Well, no, I haven't done that, but I've told them. I've, like, you know, told them, but no. Jasmine, give like me a happen. break. Just get a, just dump the guy and move on with your life. But police? I'm real fat. There she is. <laughs> yeah. po po police or another boy would be just great. Okay, yeah. well, thank you, guys. Or just uh, give it four it. more years. Oh, okay. Man. Everything gets four years with you, right? <laughs> I don't know. I was here to think about the old sex. Uh, you get these years. calls, they're like, uh, I don't know. He uses a lot of needles, and uh, he lives with me and my parents. I don't know. Do you think it's a good idea? And then you're just like, uh, what? <laughs> I don't know. Why are you it seem, Yeah, it seems great. It seems like a great idea. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, anyway, the, the fish, the translucent fish that swims up your, your yeah. urine. Okay, well, what will happen? Because uh, last week or uh, two weeks ago when I was here, you showed me the textbooks of the uh, oh, yeah. the penises being made yeah, yeah. out of the skin. The forearm. Yeah, and the, the muscle. Forearm skin. Muscle yeah, the muscle. Oh. Now, what if you were a tranny uh, who, or a, a, what, do you call, what do you call someone who's... Transsexual, A yeah. transsexual goes on uh, an Amazon trip. And uh, could it possibly yes. crawl up? Oh, sure, of course, and, because it just right. follows the stream of the urine. Do you think it well, might? you're peeing out of it, which I don't think hooks that all up or not. I don't think, but would it gross the fish out? It would It would probably gross the fish out a little bit because they're looking for a urethra and they're finding forearm. That'll make them a little angry. Oh, it must have been, yeah. But no harm, no foul. Just cut it off. Start over. Because you've got you two forearms. You've got another forearm. Yeah. It's it's awesome. awesome. Don't go on another. Yeah. Look at our uh, Amazon. Do you track. want to talk about the guy that had the piercing again? Uh, so, the, yeah. So, we had a guy call a few a couple months Get ago. Get this, everybody. Yeah. This is the call. I, this I, is the greatest. I saw it. I interrupted what I was doing, and I went right to this call. I said, this call is the call I've been anticipating my entire career. A gentleman, and it was actually very sad. Um, a man who had a piercing. On his it, penis. He got infected. <coughs> And the infection moved quickly up the penis. Was it on the tip of his penis? Towards the tip, it sounded like. Okay. And then it, it, it went into the pelvis a little bit, the infection, when they finally got him an antibiotics. The antibiotics were not sufficient to control it, which they frequently are not. So you have to do what's called a debridement. You have to go in and clean out the tissue because it's all dead. Well, in the course of doing that, they had to take off the penis and drill into the pelvic area here to clean out all the muscles. Oh, now what about his testicles? I, I didn't say. I'm imagining those are gone too. I'm just guessing. Oh. Well, you can no, you must still have testes. And he was he was married with two kids and was devastated. Felt like a like it was interesting. He described as though a part of himself had been removed. I you know, it, yeah. But I mean, like the self function was impaired by this thing, which is an interesting statement about how male male brain. Oh works. my! Wanted gosh. him re still having his testicles make it even worse. Drew? I would just say, please take them away. Take well, them as well. But then you end up on testosterone replacement, and you're, you know, you just, they're still oh using my them. Oh, gosh. I, I just love a guy, a guy who decides to get a piercing after two kids. Yeah. Well, no, he'd had, he actually had it. Uh, it was before the kids. Yeah, he'd had it before the kids. He'd had it for a while, and then something irritated it and got infected. How long did it take for the infection? It was, it sounded like it was, as I recall, very rapid. You were there, Anderson, that night, right? Yeah, I don't remember. He I wish you wouldn't tell the quick. story anymore, though, because it, it hurts. It, it does, but I think we all need to hear it. It's li it's kind of like the Joe Theismann uh, tape. Oh, we all planning on getting pierced? Of him getting his leg broken over and over again. Oh, really? Yeah, they kept showing it over and over, and you telling the story, it's the same sort of... Well, they, except this is uh, illustrative of the risks, and I, it's a same. Yeah. Although the risks are minimal, I mean, it doesn't happen all the time, that you're putting a foreign body in body in human tissue. And people, we've lost, I mean, people are so cavalier about their biological function. It's like, well, what's the big deal? That's going to happen to me. Yeah, it's going to be S fine. S can happen. S can happen. Trust me. I see uh, it all day long. All right. So let's take a break. All right, we're going to take a break, and uh, I think we should come back with that one. Yeah, I do. All right. Uh, How about more? F okay, good. Hey, uh, Vince. Yeah. Quick question. Do you, what's your, is it a comment or a question? Uh, it's a question. All right, go ahead. Ask the question, and then we're, we'll, we'll come back to you. All right. Uh, I was having sex with my girlfriend, and she tried to put her finger in my ass, and... Stop. Okay, we'll get on to it. L-O-V-E, uh, 191, uh, 1-800-L-O-V-E-191. Uh, we'll be right back. Love line, 1-800-L-O-V-E-191. 
Doctor, what do you think about all, how, like, in Mexico and uh, in your parts of Europe, and the legal I guess the rest right? of the world, is that all the prescription drugs are just kind of there and available? I don't know how it's feel like that, really. I mean, it, on one hand, why shouldn't it be? Do we yeah. have to, you know, people are grown-ups, why can't they be trusted to, you know, consult with a doctor and make their own choices about stuff? These are dangerous chemicals. Maybe they'd be yeah. more respectful of the use and misuse of these medicines if they, you know, realize that they were responsible for this dangerous stuff and they want to take advice from somebody. But um, beyond that, I, there's all sorts of arguments for and against it. I've read a, a whole series of them. And I, even the people that are very strongly in favor of highly controlled uh, pharmaceutics still kind of you know, agree that, well, you know, it's not that big a deal. Right. Is there any, has there been any sort of wide problem in these countries of misusing? No, not really. I think about it. I mean, things are going over the counter. Perhaps going over the counter. Cholesterol medicine is going over the yeah. counter. Slowly but surely, we're moving in that direction. And I see, uh, it seemed in Mexico, not that I was really pricing out Vicodin and stuff, but that it uh, is cheaper, obviously. I don't think, though, that uh, that would make any difference when uh, went over the counter here. Yeah. It's right. going to still be it's gonna, that's still astronomical. Yeah. You can get morphine right. over the counter now, Drew? You could in for Mexico? a short while there. Yeah, you get anything over the counter for a very short while, but they went back on it, I guess. I think you have to go to Paraguay or something. But, but you get cocaine over the counter just that one day or whatever that was. You that could week. for a day, yeah. and then uh, I think all of uh, Tijuana was celebrating. Right. Anderson, you want to head down to Paraguay with me? With a little morphine, yeah. I'm in. Yeah. All right. So, Vince, uh, here we go, Vince. Anderson, you, you scare me sometimes. It's the greatest <laughs> thing I've ever done, Drew. Morphine? Yeah. What did you do it for? I mean, how did you do it? I was in the hospital. They gave me the drip. Drip, drip. And I what was, happened I was to you? I squeezing the bag at one point. <laughs> 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 Couldn't what get happened stuff to you? Into me quick enough. I broke my back. Oh. That's a whole other story for another Did you know this, Dr. Drew? I, I, we haven't talked about this in a long time, but I did know about this, yeah. Did you jump off something? Did you get in a motorcycle accident? Another story, another day. All right. Come on. I fell off a roof New Year's Eve. That's, yeah. that's as far as I'll go. Oh. Same old story. Okay. Another roof, right. another roof, another fall. Another. The kitten right. needed to get rescued, and I was looking into the kitten's best interest. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. 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 All right, yeah. Vince. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead with your really important statement. <laughs> uh, I was, having, to, I was try, uh, having sex with my girlfriend, and she tried to insert a finger into my anus, and I told her, you know, that's that's Stop. not cool. I'm not into yeah. that. Yeah, right. And she said, well, I heard it feels really good. And, I mean, I'm not, like, wanting to do it, but I was wondering if that's true. It's total BS for 99% of guys that the women's magazines have made a big deal out of this. And it is, it is, I, it could not be further. Listen, guys figure out what they like early. Right. And they force women. They are not sh bashful. They don't hold back in terms of telling their girlfriends what they want. Right. They know what it is, and they want... Listen, th it's like trying to hold back a freight train. Are you kidding? Ladies, if, the, if this really felt so great for every guy, are you kidding? Yeah. They would know about it, and they'd be on you about that every time. It right. feels like hell for most guys. Right. Now, there's a small percentage that, that are in it, and they usually tell you. Those yeah. guys will tell you. And uh, If you don't want to do it, Vince, don't do it. Right. Come on, your name is Vince. <laughs> uh, just let it go. Uh, Vinny. Uh, yeah, hey, Vinny. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But you know what you should do? You should ask all your friends before. What? <laughs> just to let them know what it happened? <laughs> let, no, let them know what... No, I don't ask them. Just do what you... Do what... The, just yeah. tell her to stop reading those goddamn magazines. Oh, I tell her okay? all the time. All right, perfect. They're, they're <laughs> full of crap. They, there's no guy that will ever return from a date or an evening with a woman and say, you'll never believe it, guys. She did what they said to do in Cosmo. That, yeah. No guy is interested in any of the things they put in those magazines. No. And I love every men's magazine. It always said, no matter where you look on the cover, all the writing, no matter what the article, it always says, uh, perfect abs in six minutes. <laughs> Just all, no matter where you are. I mean, you're, oh, perfect abs again. Oh, here it is. Why aren't, why isn't every man walking around with just this beautiful perfect six pack? Yeah. Oh, all right. Uh... <laughs> Let's try this. Ruth. Yes. <laughs> What's up, Ruth? Ruth. Um, yeah, I'm 20 years old, and, like, I've been with my boyfriend since I was 16. Why are you crying? <laughs> I'm, like, really nervous. Uh, it's okay. Um, You're okay. Uh, it's okay. Um, but, like, recently, 
like, you pansy. Like, talk like about like having kids and whatever. Like I don't really care. But like lately, like lately he's been like really serious about it. Like asking me my ring size and you know whatever. And he wants to get married, but I'm totally not ready. And I don't know what to tell him because I know if I tell him I don't want to get married, he'll totally get like really sad and probably start crying. Like, what do I do? It couldn't be any worse than what you're experiencing right yeah. now. Yeah, it sounds like a great relationship, and uh, it's built on mutuality and respect. And yeah, you need to, it sounds like he's he, not the guy. Here, here's the deal, Ruth. This is what you need some coaching on. Mm -hmm. You have a right to not get married. You have a right to have your wishes honored. It's okay. You have a right that to change you have your name a, from Ruth, too, because who's named Ruth? That's 20. Anderson Ruth is a great name. It's my grandma's name. Exactly. Yeah. But oh, just, Rick's like, mom's just, name, like, too. I feel really bad. Grandma's like, name. Beg your pardon. Yeah. What's that, Ruth? It's like, well, I just feel really bad because, like, my dad, like, really, like, liked him like a son before he died, you know? And it's like... Oh, boy. You know? All right, like, Ruth, I, you know, you're holding you're way the, too Once much. again, yes, once again... Your dad would want you to do what would make you happy. Yeah. Do you think your dad would want you to be would want you to be forced into a marriage and have children? Are you kidding, Ruth? Do you think that? No, oh, I don't know. Cause it's like, cause my mom and dad like never like they had like the worst relationship ever like as a role model. So I. Like, and do you I think know, being like, really Ruth? Do you think being forced do. into a marriage is gonna be uh, it will be better than what uh, will be better than what your parents had? You know, like, cause I like, I really do love him, but I totally don't want to get married. It's like I'm only 20. Like, what is he thinking? Even asking? Shut me? up, <laughs> Ruth. We've told you a few times now. You can get out of this relationship. It's right. you have the power here. Here's the deal. Do you have any good friends? No, I don't really have any friends. Like when I started okay. dating him, uh, like all my friends. Totally that's like, what you miss. What are you uh, immigrant or something? You're new to this country. No, I was born here. Like, I don't even speak, like... Listen to her, Drew. English. Is there any question? Why well, about what? Friends? Well, she's in a sort of a state right now, so... Well, I, I bet she was normal me. when she was talking to, to Lance. What happened? And now, and now she's in a state. What are you going to do? Ruth, you need support. So you need people that care about you, who you like, who like you, for you, that you can turn to for support to withstand what you're going to have to withstand if this guy reacts to the reality that you're not into this marriage concept. He would not want you getting married either. He, not just your dad, but this guy wouldn't want you getting married if you weren't really into it. So, do you act like this around him, Ruth? No, like, I don't know. Like, I well, act like this around him. He won't want to marry you, I promise. <laughs> Well, like, Anderson. yeah, like, I cry for no reason. Like, after my dad died, like, this is all they do is just cry. We're well, depressed. Like, well, yeah. All right, you then if, if Ruth, get away from this guy and get some counseling. Or, or see a psychiatrist. See, or even you go to your general doctor and talk about this because you're, you're obviously very, very depressed. Yeah, and well, I know, like, in high school, I was, like, really depressed. Like, I was on medication and stuff. All right, well, whoever was prescribing okay. that medication, you need to get back to them and okay. uh, get followed again because you need some support. If you don't have any people in your life you can support you, then get some professionals that will support you, okay? Okay. Ruth, all right? All right, okay, thank you. All, all right. right. Good luck. Okay. Oh, boy. Anderson, you're so mean. Yeah, that was mean, man. I'm sorry, guys. It's just... You just don't like just, whiny people. I can't people. take that wine. I can't do it. I know. Yeah. All right. Uh, now, now, by the way, your, your whole your whole kitten story just completely... Yeah. Just, it just doesn't ring true now. Was I, the, I think what, it was a I kitten. Hate whining? It just It just didn't ring true. It was a glass Drew, kick. I hate whining, but love wine. It's bizarre. Uh, it's weird, huh? Me too. What do you want to do? Evan? Hey, guys. What's up? We're wow. good. Uh, What's going on? First of all, I'm kind of nervous right now, so bear with me here. All first right. time caller, long time listener. Fabulous. Uh, hey, Anderson, real quick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, do you ever know a guy by the name of John Jameson? Okay. Yeah, and he's going to start plugging his uh, stuff, so let's move on. Yeah, I do know right. John, yes. Okay. You do know John? Yeah, I went to film school with him. Wow. wow. Why is it, that, isn't that okay if you, Evan, Evan knows him? Yeah, it's fine. I just want to talk about John Jameson. Because he's a self promoter, and I'm sure he'd be very excited. And it's going to get uh, back to him. I see. Right. Evan, just what's your question, buddy? Um, I'm in a small school right now. I'm like literally talking four kids, mm -hmm. and next time I'm going into high school, and I'm you know really afraid of how this change is going to go psychologically on because I'm already extremely shaky and nervous. You know, whenever I get in terms of having right gone now. from being with f four, four peers people. to a really a, a normal sized classroom, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're going to be great. Having a great. It's going to be freedom. Yeah. Liberation. You're, you're going to feel vindicated. 
this just teenager worries kicking in? Yes, you're going to be great. Right. It's, uh, you've never been in the situation. It's going to take some adjusting. You are going to feel a thousand percent better when you get in a real social. Yeah, environment. it'll be great. There'll be uh, there'll there's there'll be some, girls. There'll be girls. Oh my gosh. He'll meet uh, other gay guys like him. Oh, oh so uh, and are saying, what is the problem? It's funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I brought up your sorry. broken <laughs> backstory. <laughs> and kittens. <laughs> it's going to be Evan. Get on the drill team. Yes, uh, drill team, of course. Uh, what do you think? You think uh, it's, 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 it's real? Is your hair? No. What yeah. do you think? Daniel, yeah. Yeah, Daniel? Yeah. Hey, Daniel. What's going on, buddy? Um, sorry. Hi, man. I'm just hey. really nervous. Um, I have this thing, man. Uh, I never actually talked to anyone before about this. Um, uh, I have this, um, I don't know uh, where's the problem, but I have a really small penis. How small? <laughs> very, very small. How small? Uh, well, let's, let's put it this way. When I'm doing nothing, it could be like an inch long. All right. <laughs> and you're, oh, and you're, Anderson. And when you're doing something? Huh? And when you're aroused, how big? Uh, probably like four. All right, it's not too far off. No. So it's, you know, it's about an inch you know, off of normal. That's half of mine. Uh, and like uh, you know, the problem is that I mean, uh, it gets me to the point that I, to the, that I don't want to have sex with girls because I just feel embarrassed. You know, I like uh, it takes my confidence away. You know, I never have problems uh, uh, getting girls. You know, uh, it's not like I'm bad looking or anything. Actually, you know, I, I get them, but I mean, uh, I kind of I kind of feel the deal because you know. Do they complain? Um, not to me, but I mean. Have well, you ever seen them? Have. Has I ever seen them cross their? Uh, have you ever seen it cross their face that they can't believe it? Yeah. <laughs> you have seen that. Oh. All right, well, here's the deal. Many more girls complain about too big than too small on this show. There is such a thing as too small, but it's actually n pretty uncommon, and most women are not at all troubled by four inches or five inches. Some are. Uh, as you know, if you've listened to and the show. And some probably think it's great. Are relieved by it, absolutely. And as you know, most women do not have an orgasm with intercourse in any event, and yeah. so you're going to have to get into other techniques no matter what and get very good at that. Now, if in spite of all that you still want to do something, there are some surgeries out there. There's one, the, probably the, one of the most sort of uh, accepted surgeries is where they take the skin down from the penis and sew in some cadaver tissue, basically like it looks like a Pop-Tart they're sewing in. Really? And then pull the skin back up, and then they take the, they dig in and it release the tendon, the ligament here that holds the penis oh. up and pull it out. So that's you get the about, second, that's the other kind. That's, do you, they that's actually, the they do thing. both, and so you get about an inch of length and about an inch of girth. And, and does that actually, does it make it more delicate? Because I feel like, you know, like a diving board, it's partially, you know, it's half of it's over land, and then the other end sticks out over the water. It, it, so it, if you move it out, isn't it going to become more bouncy? You don't get, you don't, well, you don't get that exactly. noise anymore. That noise won't happen All right, anymore, it's not that's more. that's the only thing you lose. It's just that noise. <laughs> that's it. Okay. Otherwise, everything works okay. Let's take a break, shall we? Yeah, let's take a break. Uh, it's 1-800-LOVE-191-LOVE-LINE with Dr. Drew Pinsky and Joel McHale of The Soup. Love Line with Dr. Drew. This is Joel McHale from The Soup. It's on E. Dr. Drew's got a... Can I talk about the TV show? Yeah, I got a show on Discovery Health Channel coming out Tuesdays at 10. It starts like mid-July, though. Mid-July, all right. It's actually a good show. Actually, it turns, the pieces are turning out good. We're doing all kinds of interesting things. So for all the people that can't get through on the uh, phone, uh, they can watch the show. Yeah. And, well, the, uh, show, the show, though, it's going to be a general health. We're doing, you know, heart disease. We're doing everything, not just sex and relationships. Right, right, all right. So, it's, it, but, it, but the show, it's, it diff it's sort of my spin on stuff. So, you know, we, I was telling Joel off the air when we do pregnancy, I'm interested in you know, second trimester uh, miscarriages are on the rise because people are getting treatments for warts now all the time and it's affecting their cervical function. And it's just interesting and different. We were talking about behavioral addictions. Right. And, uh, you know, we I are going to make so much fun of that in the soup. Good. It's just very high. It's very high brow humor. <laughs> hey, second trimester. <laughs> oh, man. This is the funniest. This is going to be great. There was something you did tonight. I thought to myself, oh, we wish it been the strictly sex show I've done would have been good for that. But anyway, the... We're doing gambling addictions, and I'm aware that uh, there, I was aware there's a gambling lab at University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Oh. An actual casino they set up where they hook people up and they study them while they're gambling. That's awesome. So we went in there, I hooked up, and so it's interesting stuff. So. Yeah, they would hook me up and go like, uh, 
you you have to stop being such a cheap bastard, <laughs> and you have to actually bet some money. Oh, yeah, that was yeah. me. What's that, Anderson? When your show comes on in July, should should people watch it with the sound up, or should they watch the way you watch Joel's show with the no sound, apparently? Yeah, which which one? I was I nor, I nor always watch <laughs> Joel's. We TiVo Joel's show, I'll have you know. Thank you, Anderson. And tonight, the, the rest of the family was catching up on it while I was eating dinner. I was, like, outside the room, so I was watching it, but I couldn't hear it. Other okay. people in the family. I read in a medical journal. Be no, honest. no, no. I was talking to my wife, and I couldn't quite. I kept looking up. Going, what, what's going on now? What's happening? And she goes, Oh, that part was so funny. That <laughs> she was filling it all in for me. See. But then we walked in to see the clip of the week. We actually turned on the side. Oh, I had, I had to see the, the couples, in fisticuffs. I got to tell you, crazy. I think Tony Danzo's clip was was better. Joel. Uh yeah. We as I said, we're gonna. Gosh, we're gonna miss that guy. I want to be on that show. I want. I don't. Well, I think probably because every week we have. We now have a thing called transitions, which oh. is the way he very abruptly will be talking about. Like, hey, we got uh, Elmo the banjo player coming in, and uh, sad news: Ted Williams' kid uh, is taking his dad's head, and uh, and it just goes right no matter what it is. Like, sad news: uh, four kids were killed in the fire. That uh, uh, was terrible. So over the weekend, I found out I had. Uh, a terrible uh, my 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 uncle has cancer but before that <laughs> we got Joyce brothers coming in and she's going to be hilarious you think so. he's drinking uh you know we did show this great clip 2 weeks ago i can i can always remember the dance eclipse of him just shooting these little plastic frisbees at the camera yeah, and he's like, I'm hungover. It's the best I got. And oh, that is good TV. <laughs> that is good TV. And I don't know why they don't let him do I, I think he's now that it, on the show. What? I think he's drinking on the show. I hope I yeah I, he should be now since they canceled him and they're making him do the show. That's what now the sh now the show is actually kind of enjoyable and good because they have nothing to lose. Because they have nothing to lose, he doesn't care anymore. So he's he uh, very funny. Great. Is is it on in Los Angeles? It is. Yeah. It's on. It's on in the mornings. I think uh -huh. syndicated out of New York. Uh, obviously. All right. Here we go. Let's go to a call. Right. Damien. All right, Damien. Do yeah. it. Um, I actually have a question for Dr. Drew, and it's, I have a friend that we've been close, she, it's a girl, of course, and um, we actually had a threesome with a very close buddy of me. And Ooh, two boys it, and a girl. Uh, it's a boy and a girl, and I'm close to both of them, right? So you and, two and, boys and a girl. Um, the girl is my closest friend, <sighs> and she tells... What? the hell. Yeah, let me try it again. Let me try All right, here we go. Just because I'm like, like picking a scab, I got to do it. Uh, Damien. And now I'm just worried because she asked me that she... So, yeah, so uh, tell me about the wife swap thing again. I, I think this is really amazing that guys still dress up like cowboys when they're not really cowboys. Uh, I'd like but they be, get the belt buckle. I want to be big like you want to be army man. And I want one of those grenade belts. All it would time. be like me dressing... By the way, there's, there's guys that dress like this. Yeah, but it would be like... Fidel Castro still dresses like that all the time. <laughs> but if you, but it would be like this whole group that had bars to go to. Just like if doctors were like, I want to be a doctor. Yeah. And yeah. I'll dress up. I'll have to wear this white coat. coat. Yeah, we're yeah. going to go to a thing. It's awesome. Damien. 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 I think he hung up on us because <laughs> his bogus call was not sufficient to hold his he interest even. So, yeah, all right. that was a bogus call. Yeah, I, I think you're right. Just, yeah. Uh, yeah? Uh, no. There. Uh, right five, here, five? No. Okay. Kevin. Hello. What's up? What's going on? I got a um, question for you. My girlfriend and I, we've been together for a long time. And she's, uh, she's How long? Girl, uh, going on seven years as of June 3rd. You're 21 now? Yeah. You started when you were 14? Yep. Hit the banjo. Do it! Anderson. There we go. I think there might have been a smoke detector. I heard that, too. Uh. All right, so go ahead, Kevin. Tell us the question. And do not stop that music. I won't be able to um, concentrate unless that's planned. All right, well, she's one of those girls that's been, she's good at everything she's ever done. And I'm I'm the only boy that's ever touched her, so she's really. Afraid Joel's of actually anything. clapping and, and, and doing one of those moves that they like you do in a cartoon, yeah. where the guy picks his foot up and down and stops it. Ow! Kevin from Arizona. So she's been good at everything. She's, she's ever good done. at everything. You guys are being so mean. Would you stop? Oh, Anderson. After I'm not bitter at least. We're just having fun. He's not crying like Ruth was. And you were awful to her, by the way. <laughs> I don't think that was Ruth. <laughs> Kevin. Kevin. Yeah. So she's good at everything. Yeah, she, everything she's ever tried, everything she's ever done throughout so far, she's been good at. She's afraid to do anything sexual because she's never done it. So she thinks that just not doing it at all 
doesn't mean that she's just not going to suck at it. She's well, let me assure you, she's kind of wanted be- to suck at it, actually. Huh? Oh, <laughs> nice, Anderson. Yes, thank, thank you, Mister, Mister Delicate. Subtle. <laughs> Subtle. Uh, she's BSing you, Kevin. Uh, you that's mean? not. That's not why she doesn't want to do it. That's a rationalization. She doesn't want to do it. How old is she? She is twenty. And she's never had sex before. No, she's had sex. We've had sex. Yeah. That she loves. Everything that I can actually get her to try to do, she loves. Like, it took me four years for her to actually let me go down on her. And as soon as I did it, she she loved it. Yeah. Outside of that, she really is afraid to try anything. She's really afraid to try anything dealing with her doing it to me because she doesn't want to be bad. No, and forget I'm, that doesn't want to be bad. It's nothing yeah. at all to do with I don't want to disappoint you. Right. Or, like, I don't want to try water skiing because I might fall down. Right. It's she, she doesn't feel comfortable. She feels vulnerable. She feels awkward. She feels exposed. She feels a lot of things, and maybe she can only sort of, maybe even she genuinely thinks that the reason is I don't want to sort of blow it or do bad, but the reality is she's just not comfortable, and that's fine. You just relax. Let her, let her. Yeah. Are you kind of coming on like a ton of bricks, Kevin? Not necessarily. Yeah. That's a yes. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Well, no, because she lives in a separate state now, because we both are in college. Uh Uh-oh. Wow. So it doesn't happen very often, but over the course, because we talk about it, and she says that she wants to do it, but she just she doesn't want to be bad. What specifically does she not want to do? Mm, Nail sex. Anything sex? outside of me, anything outside of me going down on her and us having sex. All right. Well, that's just listen. She's giving you all kinds of excuses, but they're just that they're rationalizations yeah. and excuses. She just doesn't want to do it. And, and that's stop fine, push, and that's... Stop pushing that's, her. Yeah, don't push her, because they won't make it. Yeah, we got to take a break. Uh, 1-800-LOV-191. We'll be right back. Well, that was another two hours of Love Line, and I hope you listened to both two hours. And two hours that went, like, boom. Yeah. So fast. It was fast. It was like watching... Uh, Wife swap. It was like watching Wife Swap, <laughs> two solid hours of Wife Swap. It was incredible. Or Jonathan. That was the other thing that goes just so fast. Oh, uh, yeah. And now Dr. Blow Drew up. and I, we take the same highway home, so we're going to race home today. Yeah, I can't wait. Usually he wins because he, he drives a faster car. I, I drive fast. And I, uh, I, I, get pretty, I get pretty nervous. So that was the, uh, I you're hope. From uh, Seattle. You're not growing up in this. this no, we drive in the rain. I know. So we're pretty, we're pretty aggressive. Uh, when it's uh, here, when people, uh, never mind, I'll stop talking. All right, that was Love Line. It's here tomorrow night. And you, do you have someone you want to? I'm sure we do, but they ended up providing me the list. So I'm just going to go with I Marlon Brando. Uh, we've got Hoobastank. And we have, uh, shoot, there was somebody. Who we got this week? For you? Anybody know? We'll, See, we're well, right and, on top of it. Jeff Probst. Jeff Probst. Tomorrow? Tuesday. Next time. Okay, he's coming on Wednesday. And two great people Monday and Tuesday. All right, that was Love Line. Uh, I hope none of you have problems anymore because of it. Good night. Stay well. I'm not okay. taking you home. No, take me home now. No, I'm not going to take you home. No, seriously. Get in the no, car and take me home. No, you serious. <laughs> no. Shut up.